Droopy eyelids is a very common condition that patients often present with. It's a normal aging process of the face and the eyes, and often involves three parts. Number one, I always look at the patient's brows. The position of the eyebrows is important to determine how best to fix a droopy eyelid. The second thing that I always look at is the fold of skin that lies above the eyelids. Sometimes when this fold of skin starts to droop so much, it can actually block the vision and cause a, a decrease in peripheral vision. And then the third thing we always look at is the position of the edge of the lid where the eyelashes comes out. Each of these three parts are important to look at when addressing a droopy eyelid. Surgery to correct one, two, or all three of these parts may be necessary to help a patient not only see better, but also to feel better as well. So when patients have droopy eyelids, often the things that they talk about most is a decrease in peripheral vision. And what that means is some patients have difficulty reading, sometimes patients' eyes actually close when they're reading, and then often patients describe a feeling like there's something over their eyes, kind of like wearing a baseball cap at all times. To correct this problem with surgery often relieves the patients of this, of this condition and helps them to not only see better, but to feel better as well. So when fixing a droopy eyelid, you usually look at the three parts, the position of the eyebrows, the fold of skin above the eyes, and also the edge of the lid when the lashes comes out. And the best way for me to explain this to a patient is to think of a curtain rod. If you have a curtain rod that's sagging, the curtain is going to fall onto the floor. And usually this, if you think about the eyelid, can cause a decrease in peripheral vision. Now one way to fix it would be to just trim the bottom of the curtain so it stops it from rubbing up against the floor. But really if a patient's eyebrow is droopy, that needs to be fixed. And actually the rod, the sagging rod, needs to be fixed and made to be stronger. So when you think about these three parts, often it requires addressing all three of them or even one or two of them to help make sure the problem is fixed. So when patients come with droopy eyelids, we do certain exams in the office to be able to tell us exactly how much this is affecting their vision. By taking photographs and making sure that we check that the eye is healthy, we're able to tell how much the droopy eyelids are affecting the patient's vision. I encourage you to come into the office if you feel like your droopy eyelids are affecting your vision. We'll be able to tell you how best to proceed and if your insurance would cover this condition. Anytime a patient has surgery on the eyelids, there are certain goals that we have to look forward to. And the things that we want is that a patient comes out of the surgery with a natural rested look. All of us can think of a certain celebrity that had surgery, either plastic surgery or surgery around their eyelids, and they just didn't look right afterwards. My goal is that my patients are able to recover from the surgery, and people usually can't tell that they had surgery. The responses that you want to get are, did you get a new haircut? Did you join a gym? Did you go on vacation recently? We don't want patients to be able to go into a room and everybody to stare at, oh man, look what they had done. We want them just to have a rested look.